The opening scene to Selma is one of the most impactful openings to any film I've ever seen. I'm not even going to tell you what happens, but it's very powerful. And it sets up the tone for the rest of the film. Selma was released in 2014. It's directed by Ava DuVernay and written by Paul Webb. And it stars David Oyelowo as Martin Luther King Jr. And this deals with Martin Luther King's campaign for equal voting rights. And it focuses primarily on the march from Selma to Montgomery in Alabama in 65. Now, I knew next to nothing about this particular march. Obviously, like most people, I have some knowledge of King's work and, you know, the the campaign for rights. But not extensively with this march. And the first thing I want to say about this film is that it's educational and engaging in equal measures. I learned a lot. Granted, I've forgotten quite a good chunk of it because it's been a while since I watched the film all the way through. But I have since then actually rewatched different bits of it because I find certain bits really quite powerful and very engaging. The treatment towards the black characters by some of the white characters is utterly despicable. And even the treatment of some black characters by other black characters, whether it's because they don't want the hassle of this march or the hassle of having to, you know, stand up to white people. It's it's very emotional. I did cry at least twice, maybe more, I can't remember. But it's amazing. If you're looking for a film that details this particular moment in history in a way that is engaging, inspiring, emotional and educational, Selma is the film to go for. I have to say, while I don't have a clear image of Martin Luther King in my head, by which I mean I don't have any particular expectations about anybody who portrays him, I do think he, David Oyelowo did a fantastic job. I was very pleased with his performance. It was very convincing, very raw and you know, very inviting. You kind of feel like you're part of this journey. And that's me speaking as a white person who has, you know, I've got I've got no black relatives or ancestors as, as far back as I can tell. But I felt the emotion of this and I felt part of it. And that's how powerful this film is. And as I said, the opening scene was just horrific. So powerful. So emotional. Oprah Winfrey in, is in this as well. That's um, definitely worth mentioning because, you know, who doesn't love Oprah Winfrey? Needless to say, the film is multi-award winning. It won an Oscar and 59 additional wins with an additional 89 nominations. That's colossal. That is incredible. So the award that it won was the Best Achievement in Music Written for Motion Pictures. Um, It was also nominated for the Best Motion Picture Oscar. And I'm just going to see if I can find out who actually won the Best Motion Picture that year. Um, the Best Original Song was also won at the Golden Globes. This is for the song Glory. It won the AFI Awards Movie of the Year. I'm not going to go through all the other awards because we'd be here a very long time. Oh, that's a surprise. Okay, so the films that were up for Best Motion Picture of that year were Whiplash, The Theory of Everything, The Imitation Game, Grand Budapest Hotel, Selma, Boyhood, American Sniper, and the winner, Birdman. Now, I have to say, I love Birdman, but I'm surprised it won. But that is a very, very powerful category. That is strong. So the film has done exceptionally well. Um, It could have won, it didn't, but it was a very close call, I expect. Selma is incredible. Whether you know anything about that moment in history or not, I think it's worth a watch because you'll enjoy it for all the right reasons.